Hello YouTube, this is just a quick video of using dial-up um, in 2023. I'm using my Windows uh, 2000 PC running on a, uh, well it's a, it's a Dell Dimension 4100 um, and I will be dialing out using uh, my 5e POTS line. So, I created an account just for this video. Here we go. Uh oh. Had to renegotiate there. No. Yeah, this connection isn't going to be very fast. I'd be surprised if we're higher than 26.4 or 26.8. Yeah, we're at 26.400. Let me try to pull up uh, Google here. Sorry about that flashing. There's Google though. I will type in, um, Wow, that flashing is really bad. Let's try to pull up one of these uh, news articles. Nope, not gonna happen. I'll do see if I can copy the link. No option to copy the link. Is it copy shortcut? Nope. Turned off the monitor over there. Mm. Let's see if we can pull it up here. Chameleon is a more modern browser than Juno, which is just using IE. So we're loading there. While we're at it, let's fire up uh, AIM, see if we can sign on. Although we're using our entire connection to pull up this web page. Actually, let me close out of that. Should work now. There we go. But you guys haven't heard that sound in a while. We are using AIM in 2023 over a dial-up connection on a Windows 2000 computer using a real POTS line. Pretty nifty. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Let me just see if I can fire up one more website for you guys. And I really apologize about the uh, flash in there. I can't seem to match the refresh rate with my camera. It's just not going to happen. Alright, uh, let's try cbsnews.com just to see what happens. There's a lot of images and stuff on there, so... Actually, the, the likelihood of that loading is, is probably zero. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I could be here all day, or all night. But Google News seems to, to open up just fine, even with images. All those images going over that phone line over there. Pretty cool. Uh, right there. So pretty neat. CVS actually going to load? And we got the uh, title. Thing is, is after this, it's gonna want to load data from like twelve other freaking sources. It's like gonna. Need a load in Google Ads and all kinds of bloatware uh, and junk. So I'm not in. I'm not really expecting for after that bar to finish for it actually for the page to load. Uh, I suppose it's remotely possible, which is why I'm waiting. Comment down below if you actually have not skipped over. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh, okay, we got something. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so many freaking pictures on this page. Like, it's not even funny the amount of pictures. This is just absolutely not gonna work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the page actually kind of works. There we go, look. You have your headlines right there. Yep, well, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to wait three hours for CBS. So here, last thing I want to do is I just want to ping 8.8.8.8 and see what our ping is. Well, there you have it. Minimum 371 milliseconds. In case anyone was wondering. <clears throat> I 
Now I have quite a bit of noise um, and whatnot on this POTS line. That This is my second line that I'm dialing in over. If I use my first line, um, I think I actually might be able to achieve higher speeds. Um, and in fact, right before I end this video, I just want to see if in fact that is correct. Let me see if I can just plug this over to... I don't really want to drop that here. Just to see what happens. Um, here, give me just a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure I have my monitor. monitor. Let's see what happens. See if it doesn't renegotiate this time. Sounds a lot better. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. I'd say at a minimum we're gonna get 38.4. That sounded really nice and clean. Yep, 4,400. So now we're blazing fast now. Heck yeah, 44 kilobits per second, let's go. Heck yeah. It's like twice as fast as our last connection here. So just uh, for reference, I'll just fire up google.com just so you can see the load time difference. Enter. Boom. In fact, actually, it's interesting. I think Google.com loads faster on IE. I'll wait for, uh, see now, this is like loading ads and shit. We're gonna pause that. All right, Google.com, three, two, one, enter. You can see the loading bar there, and we're loaded. Google.com, over a much faster dial-up connection. Let's see, lastly, what our ping is now to Google's DNS server. 8, .8, and enter. See if we're much better. Hmm, we're actually... Oh, check that out. We got, uh, one of them went through at 291 milliseconds, so we are doing a little bit better. Oh, 281, 270, 261, 260, dang! Okay, we're doing much better in terms of latency. Wow. Check out that ping. Damn. We're doing nice, nice and fine here. Um, whoa. Hopefully I didn't just give anyone on my channel a seizure here. I apologize about that. You can thank this nice Dell E773 monitor for that. Um, obviously it's not actually flashing like that in person. Uh, this monitor is at 75 75 millisecond refresh rate. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, let's click I'm feeling lucky because I am feeling lucky at 44 kilobits per second. Fun fact, I actually know a few people that are currently, whoa, that are actually currently using dial-up as their main um, internet service, um, primarily because they don't have any other options, especially with um, AT&T deciding to um, seize offering, you know, ADSL. Um, other than on top of that, uh, the UNE forbearance stuff uh, that made a lot of DSL providers go out of business, um, and in a rural, rural wire center and stuff like that, um, that basically kind of destroys your options for having DSL. 
Um, well, there we go. Check that out. This was loaded over dial-up. All this here, everything you see. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit broken, though. <laughs> well, that's not due to the connection. That's due to uh, trying to run a web page like this on effectively a browser built on an engine that's like... Man, I don't even know how many years out of date. Um, keep in mind that a kernel X and stuff like that, uh, even, even then, like I, I could download much more modern browsers that, that are built on more modern engines and stuff or more updated engines and whatnot. Um, but the issue is this computer, uh, I believe it's operating on a, this is on a Pentium three. So not a Pentium four, which severely limits, um, what I can run on here, I, I believe it's like the instruction set between Pentium 3 and Pentium 4. Uh, completely different. Um, so if I open up Task Manager, I forget exactly. Uh, applications, performance. Nah, we're not going to be able to see that there. We're going to have to right-click here. Properties. Nope. All right, well, I thought I was going to be able to see that there. I guess not. Hardware wizard, so you can see. Oh, what the hell am I doing? It's two in the morning. There we go, that's what I meant to click on device manager, just so you can kind of see what I have in this computer. Wow, yeah, that is really. Well, this is what I have in the computer, in case you were curious. Got a RAID 128 Pro graphics card. That's my modem right there that I'm using. I have an unidentified PCI device, which I think is another modem. And yeah. <laughs> and we're going to shut down. Thank you for watching.